This was a long time coming. Originally promised for the end of March, but now Gritomic has finally done it. Let's get into it. Product in bag. So this is the news article I'm personally quite stoked about. Cortomic announces product in bag from its Alchem project in Namibia. Let me give you a quick refresher. Alchem is the fang graphite deposit located in Namibia from which Cortomic plans to output 45,000 tons per year of super pure fang graphite from this facility. And for the last couple of months, Cortomic has been trying to complete that processing plant as best and as fast as they possibly could. You see, turning a piece of land, or a historic mine in this case, into the world's largest fang graphite mine is quite the endeavor. And Product in Bag is quite a milestone in getting that facility up and running. Product in Bag refers to the first ton of graphite fully processed by the Alcam processing plant. Cortomic has achieved its first Product in Bag milestone by generating one metric ton of material Material that was produced and transferred to inventory. And that is a huge milestone. It signals to us that the processing plant is fully working and now Gratomic just needs to get the processing plant up to speed. Cortomic continues with, this material will be sent to SGS Lakefield for product development in the fulfillment of the company's obligation to modify the product to suit the needs of the end users. This is an important step that is required in the product development process on which the company's product line is based. And for those of you that didn't know, and to be honest, I also had to Google this, SGS is a company that focuses on testing, inspecting, and certifying of specific materials and processes. So, Cortomic sending their first product in back to SGS means they want to certify the material ASAP. The certifying is important so Cortomic can sell the right material to the right customer for the right price, with confidence for all parties. And this product lineup will include SG16, which can be used as an anode material in batteries. It will include M97, which is super pure, but not spheronized, which is needed for batteries. And it will include C99 and plus 895, which are both less pure types of graphite. Also, the company told us that the grade of the product in bag was suitable for these markets but it could also be micronized and spheronized. And from my limited knowledge of graphite, that puts it at about M97 grade of graphite. So like we said just a bit earlier, the finished product or the product in bag was produced from historic stockpiles at the site since, well, Arkham used to be an operational mine in the 70s. So yesterday wasn't the first product in bag party for Arkham, but it was the first product in bag at Arkham since 1974. However, keep in mind, product in bag doesn't mean that the plant is now fully operational. Like the company stated, Cortomic will continue to optimize the processing plant through the operational readiness stage and into the full production phase. And to end the article, Cortomic shows us two very wholesome pictures of a part of the Arkham crew with the first product in bag. So that is the gist of the article. Now let's talk about my opinions. Of course, I already let my opinions slip through during the last part of this video. I am quite stoked about this news report. This is what we have been waiting for, for a full 22 days since the original missed deadline at the end of March. Some people will be disappointed still, since the company hasn't really addressed why they missed the original deadline at the end of March. And let me be clear, that is a fair point. However, companies often use these news reports as advertising material. Companies often want to make themselves look as good as they possibly and legally can in these public statements. That is to say, we're probably not getting a reason for this slight delay in product in bag from Cortomic. And I do say slight delay, because 22 days is actually nothing in the grand scheme of Cortomic. When it originally became clear that Cortomic would miss their product in bag deadline, a lot of the online message boards around Cortomic became a clown show. And that is also fair point. As investors, we absolutely do want our companies to keep their promises. However, Cortomic is constructing the world's largest fang graphite processing plant. And in that process of creating the world's best fang graphite processing plant, well, delays will happen. And these delays are to be expected. The only thing I really believe we should care for is that Cortomic eventually completes Arkham. That Cortomic eventually turns on that bad boy from Arkham processing plant and produces that sweet, juicy graphite. And when that happens in two or in six months from now, 
Well, both situations are equally awesome. This news report, product in bag, was an extremely important piece of that puzzle. However, product in bag was never the end goal either. We are still waiting on the full operational capability of Occam. Now let's talk about the Cryptomic stock and I foresee that this news report about product in bag will create a nice little bump in the share price. But I do not think we can expect too much enthusiasm from the stock market about this news report. For the truly life-changing moves in Cryptomic's value, well, for that I do believe we need a news report on the full operational capability of Arkham. So yeah, that is the news report and those are my thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know down below and with that said thank you so much for watching peace